Are you worried you'll be lonely when you get older? I'm worried I'll be lonely every day. If I'm being honest, it does frighten me. I'll try, like, hard to not be lonely. Yeah. Will your family look after you? We'll be look after your child at first. As long as you have good people around you, all the way up through the ages, it'll, you'll be right. I knew of a woman who was so busy avoiding the harsh realities of ageing that she didn't even enjoy the good bits. I think I might be married to her. What does your ageing journey look like? Welcome to the best 30 years, helping to make your ageing journey the very best it can be. As Herman Melville once said, to know how to grow old is the masterwork of wisdom and one of the most difficult chapters in the great art of living. In this episode of The Best 30 Years, we're talking about the importance of purpose and community as you age. And we're introducing Land Lease, a style of living that might perfectly suit your passions. When we are young, we never imagine being old. In fact, I distinctly remember as a child thinking that old people were born like that. We don't imagine ourselves being old people, maybe because it can look frustrating and lonely and without purpose. But can the ageing journey actually be wonderful? <laughs> we're not old, we're just in the next stage of our life, having fun. Fantastic. But what's the general experience of the ageing journey? A worldwide study of life satisfaction through the life cycle shows a steady decline through our teenage years, our 20s, our 30s. Our 40s are often the low point, which is why so many people have a midlife crisis. Uh, but then life satisfaction begins to rise through our 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. That's because in the beginning we're obsessed with ourselves and as we age we become more accepting of ourselves and others. But is that the case for everyone? Many people spend their working lives thinking of retirement only to find themselves blindsided by emotional and social issues and, and that can be very difficult for them. So life is complex. Individual stories can vary. Let's call this Sula's story as told to a friend. My friend's husband's life was his work. So when he retired, he had nothing to do. Sula invited him to come out with us girls. It was awkward. He stopped going out. He got really annoying, but then he died. And now Sula misses him dreadfully. So how do we make our ageing journey a good one? It's important as much as you can to take care of your brain to make sure your brain is keeping busy because that's usually the center of a lot of our problems. So as we age, uh, try and you know eat well and exercise because both those things, I know they're boring and you've heard them a million times, but those two things can be very good for your brain to keep it you know, ticking and talking at no expense. There's a really important concept that kind of some of us resist, and that is that the brain runs the body and the brain monitors our environment, not just air pollution and what we're breathing in, but our relationships, how happy we are in the world. And then when the brain receives those messages, it translates it into physical messages to our body. So if bad stuff's going on, bad physical messages can go to the rest of the body, and those are pro-aging. So we've got to think of ourselves in our environment, with our family, with our friends, with the people we meet and our hobbies and so on, and in the community around us. Those are the things, in addition to what we eat and how we exercise, that make an enormous difference to living younger longer. So the, the naturally the feeling of being wanted and loved and having a contribution to make are all the things that will positively contribute. In the absence of those, we will wilt, but in the presence of those, we will grow and continue to make a contribution to our world. So what connections do you have in your life? Do you have passion, for example? What sort of passion are you talking about? <laughs> I have passion. <laughs> I have the love of my life living with me. It's my dog. <laughs> So passion and connection are important, but what else? Well, so is the simple desire for wonder, to experience new things, 
But the biggest obstacle to that is money. So what about assets like the family home? While selling the family home is an emotional journey with changing neighbourhoods, balancing your need for cash to live on and perhaps a request from kids to be the bank of mum and dad, selling the family home can also lift a burden off your shoulders. One significant and very popular option is to downsize to an over 55's land lease community. With this model, you own your home but lease the land it sits on, reducing its cost and leaving you with a bigger downsizing nest egg to fund your retirement. With land lease communities, you get resort facilities, real neighbours and a real community. Plus, with your extra cash, you can lock and leave to travel. Importantly, it's your home and you get all the capital gains when you sell and the government may help you pay the weekly fees. So, if you're looking into land lease communities, make sure you do your research. Get along to the open days or the social activities and get a really good sense of what it's like to be part of that community. Some of the advantages of downsizing into a, a land lease community are that the homes are low maintenance and you can save on the ongoing expenses of things like rates, insurance, utilities, things of that nature. The other tip I would give is around your pension. Make sure you know what the impact is going to be on your pension and think about whether supersizing your downsize, so going for the bigger house with the nicer views or perhaps the upgrades or maybe all three, can actually lead to a more affordable outcome because you might get more pension entitlement. The other benefit of land lease communities when it comes to pension is that generally you qualify for rent assistance. So the rent assistance goes on the site fees, which is the lease you pay for the land on which your house sits. Coming up, we take a deeper look at land lease and whether it's right for you. I've got to discharge my mortgage and move here and the attraction for me has always been the beach and now I live on the beach and not for a million bucks. <laughs> 